Hello everyone. Once again, this is Teacher Herling, your science teacher. For today's video, we are going to discuss about the feeding relationships in an ecosystem. Organisms in an ecosystem are interconnected by their feeding relationships. The light from the sun is the source of energy for the whole ecosystem. How is it passed from one organism to another? Organisms in an ecosystem are connected in numerous ways. Some organisms may benefit another, compete with each other for resources, and of course, eat one another. Feeding on another organism passes energy from one organism to the next. The flow of energy through an ecosystem is represented in a food chain. Now, what is a food chain? A food chain describes how energy and nutrients move through an ecosystem. At the basic level, there are plants that produce the energy. Then it moves up to the higher level organisms like herbivores. After that, when carnivores eat the herbivores, energy is transferred from one organism to the other organism. Light energy is trapped by plants to produce food by the process called photosynthesis. Animals that eat plants or first order consumers get energy absorbed by the plants from the sun. Second order consumers are the animals who will feed on the organisms which eat the plants. Energy is transferred from first order consumer to the second order consumer. When another animal eats the second order consumer, it is called the third order consumer and energy is again transferred to the other organism. A food web is similar to a food chain but it is larger. Food webs show plants and animals are connected in many ways. Now, what are producers? Producers are also called autotrophs. Autotrophs or producers are mainly green plants algae or microorganisms that undergo photosynthesis. They provide energy and other nutrients to consumers. They make their own food by converting the energy from the sun. Now, what are consumers? Consumers are also called heterotrophs. They get their energy by feeding on plants and other organisms. These are examples of consumers or heterotrophs. All animals are consumers. Now, what are herbivores? Herbivores are plant eaters. They are known as the primary consumers. They eat plants alone. These are the examples of herbivores. How about carnivores? Carnivores are meat eaters. These are organisms that eat other animals. 
These are the examples of carnivores. Now, what are omnivores? Omnivores are animals that eat both plants and animals. There are also organisms which are called decomposers. So what are these decomposers? Decomposers are also called saprotrophs. They get their energy by breaking down dead organisms and their wastes. Just are examples of saprotrophs or the composers. A decomposer is a creature or organism that breaks down organic matter such as dead animals and plant materials. Some commonly known decomposers are bacteria, fungi, and worms. Now, let us recap. What is the most important non-living factor in an ecosystem? Sun. The sun is the most important non-living factor in the ecosystem. How is energy transferred from one organism to another? Energy is transferred from one organism to another when an organism gets other organism. Why plants are called autotrophs? Plants are called autotrophs because they can produce or manufacture their own food. What is a herbivore? Herbivores are animals that eat plants alone. What animals are called omnivores? Omnivores are animals that eat both plants and animals. What will happen if there are no decomposers? If there are no decomposers, dead organisms will pile up and the energy stored on the dead organisms will not be returned to the ecosystem. Now, let's have a quiz. So, here is your direction. Identify the words described in the sentences below. Choose the answer inside the box. Number one. These are organisms which can produce their own food. The answer is producers. Number two, these are animals that eat plants alone. The answer is herbivores.
Number three, it is the source of energy for the whole ecosystem. The answer is the sun. Number four, these animals eat other animals. Answer is carnivores. For the last question, these animals eat both plants and animals. The answer is omnivores. I hope you have learned something today. See you next video.